Guys, the time has come. Let's dive into this Fowl's album, I beg. Just give me these guys in this car. You have the guts to tell me you accidentally discharged. Madman, Waka, you be bloody bastard. You waste a life and try to tell me that you saw me after. Trying times and dark days, it's just becoming darker. It's still the same sad story, just another chapter. Yo, what's good, beautiful people? It's your boy, man, and welcome back to the channel. And today, you know what the title is, you've seen it. Fowl's dropped an album called Moral Instruction. And I reacted to a single that he dropped called Talk. And I mentioned that I was gonna review this album. So here it is, people. Let's dive into it, shall we? So for those of you that might not know Fowl's, let me give you some little context, okay? Fowl's is an Nigerian artist that broke out, say late or mid-2014, with a song called Marry Me, featuring Po and Yemi Alade. This song actually propelled him and actually blossomed into a nice career for him. He has been dropping albums since then, so 2014, he had an album called What's Up Guy, and uh, 2015 released Stories That Touch. Just last year, he had an album called 27. That was not much of an album to me. It felt like it was just a compilation of all the songs that did well in the market for him, and he just threw that into to make an album. But Stories That Touch was an album that he came out with that flexed his writing skills, that his wordplay was so brilliant, and each verse was obviously crafted well. And now he released an album called Moral Instruction, and oh man, this album. Now, Fowles has been known as one of Nigeria's prominent rappers, but I feel like he hasn't been given respect as a rapper just because of his comedic approach. I mentioned this before in previous videos. And now with an album that is obviously gonna take him very, very seriously as a rapper, take him very, very seriously as an activist, quote unquote. So last year he released a cover to Childish Gambino's This Is America and made it This Is Nigeria. Pretty much putting out the same narrative that Childish Gambino had for America, putting that same energy towards Nigerian situation. And obviously that came with a lot of controversy. People lashed at him. And people were people actually praised him for actually doing it. The song This in Nigeria gave him a voice that no other artist in Nigeria has right now. He earned that voice, okay? He took that opportunity and ran with it. And, and hence why we have an album like this to talk about. Now let's check out the intro called Johnny. So Johnny was a song that actually looked at how we don't value life in Nigeria. Johnny just dropped. Now person shoot them down. Johnny where they innocent. Johnny where they know in town. They kill him for just, for no just cause. Nobody free come up for house, they no born us. And, and it was a sample from Fela again, and this entire Fela theme is very consistent, and I love this album. By the way, we're gonna address how the theme of the album became something very, very melodic to Fela. Some of you already know this, but the artists that worked on the cover of the album also worked with Fela. Just from that collaboration with that artist alone, you know where this album was going. And boy, did it go there. So Johnny Just Drop was a beautiful song. Shout out to TMXO. That was a very, very well produced sample. And I love the consistency with the Fela samples, man. They were done really nicely. Shout out to all the producers. TMXO, Sess, um, forgetting the guy that did talk. Anyways, come back to me. Now, follow, follow this track, fam. This track was nasty. Honestly, my favorite beat on this entire album was Follow, Follow. And this beat was just so hard. It was Sess that produced it. The drop and how Fela was just embedded into that was just so sick. Like, come on. <laughs> That beat slaps. It was a standout track for me because it was the song that had the most energy. I want to talk about Faust's songwriting skills, fam. He came through on every track, fam. And now the track Hypocrites was a one that at first, man, the first listen for that was the hook got the hook was so distracting, okay? The hook was like why is this guy singing from his nose? Like, who approved this kind of vocals to be submitted to the album? Man? And I've come across this artist before, his name is Demi V and he's signed to I think Flyboys. And uh he sings good usually, but why take this approach and this vocal texture? Like, it wasn't really working for the song. Again, just like any other song sometimes, they just grow on you, okay? Like, right now, I can actually say that I can listen to the song without cringing, okay? Nobody so I know the Everybody is a hypocrite. It's a song that stands out obviously because the melody on that chorus is very 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 catchy. People sing along to this and it's very very 
easy to digest. It's very, very simple. And that was something that was very consistent with all the hooks on this album. Because everything was just simple. It was very melodic. People could sing along to it. It didn't sound like anybody was vocally stretching themselves. And this song addresses something that everybody, everybody knows and everybody should know is that everybody's a hypocrite, okay? We say things sometimes. Sometimes we don't even check ourselves. And that's why I love this album is because you can know files as a guy to address the corruption with the leaders and everything. But something that actually stood out for me was the fact that he's very consistent with his criticism. He addresses all the systemic corruption that we have in Nigeria from the guy at the top down to your regular day-to-day -day guy. And I know one matters more than the other, but at the same time, something embedded in the culture of the country that we need to address. Not just politics and corruption in general, he touched on so many topics on one track. He was even afraid to point the line of homosexuality in the song Hypocrite. Yeah, you can understand that this was a very, very personal album to him because he was taking an opinion that many people don't find popular in a culture like Nigeria. Like homosexuality we all know in Nigeria is frowned upon heavily. So it's an opinion that he took that obviously wasn't going to be popular and he still threw that in, just made me sure that he wasn't trying to, he wasn't pandering to people. He would say, oh, corruption is heavy, politicians are crooked. He was just dishing out his own opinion. That obviously gave him more points for me because I was thinking, oh yeah, he's not pandering to people. He's not just saying anything just to get likes. He's just sharing his own opinion. And which is why I see on the album that he has no other rap feature. Every other feature is just there for the hook. And obviously this album is his. This album is... His voice is his opinion in every track. It's his topic that he wants to talk about. So having another rapper come there and try to sound like him would obviously not help the album or not serve the album well. The fact that he had no rap feature on the album too was just a solid, solid point of attention that look, this is my voice, this is my story, this is my opinion, and I like that. The track called Talk, I kinda did like a semi-review of the track, but that song is heavy. It's actually a track that embodies the entire message of the album, which made sense for him to release it as a single. This actual track was a good selling point for the album because he knew that he wasn't going to be afraid when it comes to attacking politicians or religious leaders that take advantage of people. And another thing about this track, it's a call and response kind of song that everybody was going to sing along. So yeah, that was a brilliant thing to do, to make it a call and response, to actually involve people into your songs. It makes it catchy, it makes it makes it very personal for people and almost feels like they're part of the song, you know? The Willis was his name. I know Willis, give him. Anyways, Willis was the name that I was forgetting. The track Amen, man, this one actually, like, this one blew me away. Everybody and their mama still they take your bullshit. If my sermon worry you, he may say the shoe fit. More Catholic than the Pope, more faithful than the Bishop. Yeah, I know some kind drug with them called religion. I they pray to God, I hope I make it to his kingdom. Well, the man of God is busy raking in millions. Yo, like this was a bold, bold, bold song. Oyedepo was his main target, fam. Oyedepo took all the shots, honestly, because he's obviously the biggest fish in the pond, and who else would files attack on this kind of issue except someone like Oyedepo that in my opinion too ex like actually shows these examples for what files is talking about and exploitation of people fam like it's ironic you tell me to be my brother's keeper take our offering set up uni and your church members can't even afford the school fee I understand that you were a Rina Chapel person and if you're a Rina Chapel person don't get this wrong or offended honestly it's an opinion that I share too it's like we have one of the biggest schools in the country and we, can, we obviously know where that investment money came from, you know what I mean? Like, to feed off of the backs of your congregation and start a huge mega business and not involve your people as much. Like, having one of the highest tuition rates in the country, like, come on. Anyways, first not only address or your dick point in this song, he actually even threw a clip of a sermon into this song. At this point, he's not just shaking the table. He has broken down the table to pieces and even used to do to speak. My point is, yo, he was not afraid in this song. It was very bold and made it clear who his target was from the song. And the song, not only that about topic, it's actually a good song that you can listen to. Consistent with that Philat theme. I love it, fam. Keep that legacy going. So fast forward to the track Paper. Paper was another really, really nice, nice, nice hook. 
I love the chills hook man, it was very simple, very good to go with, it was a good bounce, it was a slow track but at the same time kind of upbeat, I love the energy of the record too, it was very smooth, very sing-alongable kind of song. It was another track that was obviously a social commentary that was just looking at the obsession with money, yet another like very smart and witty songwriting from Files again because the bars, the lines, like the words he plays with, fam, you have to give him credit for all of that. You know Finish was a huge, huge, solid Afrobeat track fam, he had all the elements. That's the thing about this album man, you, you could not skip any track fam. This album ended on a very, very strong and bold note with You Know Finish. That song man, such a track to embed the entire Fela Afrobeat sound. It sounded like literally Fela sat down with him and wrote this song. It was just a perfect Afrobeat orchestra fam. This thing had all the elements to make a dope Afrobeat track. From the background vocals, to the saxophone, to the bouncy beat. Like fam, this was so Fela, I love it. And the hook was very bold and he said, if everything that Fela talked about is still happening to this day. That was the whole premise of the song. I have so many issues that we need to address and let's talk about it, let's talk about it. I feel like the poem wasn't too necessary because on every track he actually made his points very, very clear and he punched, every track punched. But I cannot fault him for trying to double down on all his points, breaking it down to a simple poem where people can actually hear the words and get his message loud and clear. That I like that he even did that to take a poetic route and it was a very good way to end the album. My general thoughts on this album, my favorite fam, every, every track, was a favorite here. It was very hard to pick a least favorite here because everything was just so solid and well done. Shout out to producers again, the mixing. Fam, this album was so clean and so crisp. And to my final rating for this album, I've never done this on this channel yet, but it's a perfect, perfect album and I'm giving it a 10 out of 10. Yes, you heard it. The album is very, very well done. I love the Fela theme. And I've said this before in a previous video that a lot of people claim Fela as their mentor and as their, like, the guy because obviously he's the father of Afrobeats and every Afrobeat artist or every Afropop artist wants to give that credit to him. The Banch did it, Whiskey did it, Burner Boy did it, W4 even did it. But many of these artists don't go to the levels that Files has done to actually emulate Fela's legacy and I really 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 commend him for doing that even down to the artwork for every song making that speak so much Fela and give so much Fela vibes it was just a brilliant thing to collab with the actual artist he actually made an appearance on the album I was like yo anyways it's safe to say the album is an actual reflection of the social climate and the political climate of Nigeria right now who has actually done that except for Fela him making a song like this is Nigeria putting him in that position that fam, you have to follow up and that song but on an album scale and he did that. It was a huge and very clear mirror reflection of Nigeria. The timing obviously is so brilliant because the elections are coming up and people actually are going to be going back and forth and the discussion about politics is more prominent right now than ever because he made a voice that we were hypocrites in a way that we would vote in the corrupt politicians and then complain do that and he obviously had to make that point clear because right now we have someone like Atiku running for presidency the man that was in the administration for eight years for us to actually be consciously planning to put another person back into that power to move us backwards i know buhari is not great but fam to actually go back to the nemesis that we were in it's just insanity for people to actually vote for Atiku. But anyways, people have their own political opinions, but Faust was making that clear that these two guys obviously have shown to be a disaster, so let's move on with other people that are more progressive and are more futuristic minded. I know Atiku tries to portray himself like that. For me, I call bullshit fam. Anyways, I don't want to get too deep into politics. He made he made the point clear on this album that he wasn't here to entertain, and that was what he's been known for. He's a very entertaining rapper because he actually gets you excited on each line and gets you crack up because he's actually a funny guy, he's a comedian. If he did stand up, he would kill it. I love this album, it's a 10 out of 10. It's up there with albums like uh, Asha's self-titled, albums like MI2, albums like Juan Nicole's Mission to Mohits. I have placed it in that category of perfect albums coming out of the country. And this is monumental. Say 50 or 100 years from now, somebody wants to know what was going on around these times in Nigeria. This album is a good capsule to just 
dust off and go back to and actually listen to and actually feel like wow this is what was going on in Nigeria at that time let me get out of here guys I've talked too much about this album the, the album is so concise it's 25 minutes long and look at how much I have to say about this album just got all the fat out of the album and went straight to the topic on every track Files, I love your work I love everything you put towards this album the short film that went towards that was just brilliant to help tell the story more visually and it was very very good the acting the directing of that album shout out to prodigy if you're new to this channel be sure to like share and subscribe obviously you can see that i review albums from nigeria and i love to do this because there's not much of this kind of conversation being had about nigerian music and i feel like it's very important that we have that kind of conversation hence why i made this channel and please 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 tell a friend about what we're doing here i'm sitting at about 208 subscribers i would love to end the year at least with a thousand of course that's a long way to go but if feel like with your help I can get there so just share this video tell a friend about it throw it into your group chat or whatever thank you so so much for clicking on this video and taking your time to watch this if you made it to this point gracias so thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time